Welcome to our Five on Five. Please be joined today by Annette Leong from the Oregon Community Foundation's Children's Dental Health Initiative. Thanks so much for Hi, being here today. I'm so happy to be here with you. Yeah, my pleasure. So uh, I want to talk about, obviously, dental health. Why is it so important for kids? Well, you know, in Oregon, children's dental health is one of the greatest unmet needs in our state. And in fact, what we know is that one in five of Oregon's children have what's called rampant tooth decay, mm. which means that they have either abscesses or decay in seven or more of their teeth. Wow. So <clears throat> it's, a, it's a, an epidemic in Oregon, particularly among low income and um, rural communities for kids in those communities. So we really want to address this. And, you know, in these divisive times, I think we can all agree that we want our children to be able to eat healthy food. We want our children to be able to sleep well at night and we want them to be ready to learn. Okay, so yeah, what, what can we do about, about fixing this problem? Right, well, so um, I think one of the most important things that parents need to know is that their children's baby teeth are extremely important. And so we want to protect them. A lot of parents feel like the teeth are going to fall out anyway. So, you know, I don't need to be concerned about them. But what I want parents to know is that the health of those baby teeth directly impacts the adult teeth, the permanent teeth that are growing underneath. And that's why they're so important. So for example, for parents who have babies, um, a ba say a baby with a bottle, and they're putting the baby to bed with a bottle at night, we wanna make sure that that bottle only has water in it. A lot of times parents will put a baby to bed with a bottle that has milk or juice, and the baby gets used to that. And then when we say only put water in the bottle, they say, well, good luck with that, right? Sure. So one of the strategies that we like to suggest is that for that bottle to bed, we can gradually reduce the amount of milk or juice in the bottle so that it's only water after maybe two weeks and the baby won't mm. even notice. Okay. But we don't want the sugary liquids or milk sitting on the teeth all night long. That's uh, one okay. of the key uh, things for parents to know. And um, what I find is that most parents already know that that twice daily toothbrushing is really important mm -hmm. um, with a drop of fluoride toothpaste. But getting that to actually happen. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and getting them to school on time, get, I can tell get, you, that's Getting not easy. them out the door. Yeah. You know, for someone like you, um, mm -hmm. you know, you have your, your three kids and you want to get them out the door. Um, what we really want to do is try to work on getting that daily habit established. And there's some ways to do it. And what I hear from parents that I work with is um, it becomes a battle. Sure. And so how do we gotta keep it? And yeah, we gotta yeah. pick our battles. So, well, you know, there's another approach, which is how do I keep it from becoming a battle in the first place? Mm -hmm. And one of the strategies that works really well is for the parent to approach the toothbrushing um, as a playful activity. So for example, for the younger kids, you might pick up one of their toys and have the toy pretend to talk to the parent and sure. say, you, what did you say? What did you want? You don't even need to pick up a real toy. You can just mm -hmm. pretend. Kids love it when the parent is engaging in imaginary play. So you can say, did you see that that big dinosaur over there said she wants to go brush her teeth now? Mm -hmm. And they get, where, where, what dinosaur? What are you talking about? And then suddenly they get excited and the parent gets up, goes to the sink and says she wants to brush her teeth. And then the kid, the child is so, so involved in the play. Just make it play, yeah. Make it, make it in okay. interesting in that way. Okay. Instead of saying to the kid, the child, go brush your teeth, yeah. which in, kind of invites a, a battle, in mm -hmm. a sense, right? No, sure. I'm busy. I'm playing my game. I don't want yeah. to. So okay. if you can get them actively involved. Okay. And, and we, know, we know soda is bad. You talked about juice. You know, a lot, a lot of these sugary beverages are bad. But what about fluoride? How much fluoride should kids be getting? Okay, that's a really good question. So what we want to do is we want to monitor the amount of fluoride toothpaste that they're getting. We don't hand a child a tube of toothpaste and say, have at it, any more than we hand them a bottle of vitamins and say, mm -hmm. help yourself, right? We hand our child one vitamin. In the same way, we want to control the amount of fluoride toothpaste that they use. So for children three and under, we use just a tiny smear of fluoride toothpaste on their child-sized toothbrush. Okay. For children three to six, we want them to use just a pea-sized drop of fluoride toothpaste. And that way they're getting the right amount. 
um, because younger children tend not to be able to spit it out. We don't want anybody to be eating a lot of toothpaste. Okay. But we do want to be using fluoride toothpaste because the fluoride in the toothpaste is what's remineralizing the teeth, which is incredibly important. A lot of people don't understand that. It's, um, fluoride is a naturally occurring mineral. And it is just like calcium and iron and other vitamins. Your body needs the right amount. And in order to remineralize the teeth and strengthen them, we want the right amount of fluoride. Okay. Well, there's uh, a lot to cover. Appreciate you coming in. And yeah. Oregon CF for people who have, who have questions or uh, want to find out more. OregonCF.org. Okay. And we would okay. really invite people to um, reach out, contact us, let us know if they have any questions. And I would be very happy to talk to people with questions about their children's dental health. Okay. Thanks so much for being Thank here. Thank you so much, Craig. Right. Stay with us. We'll be right back.